Welcome, welcome to the channel. And again, my heart is to, my burden is to equip men with options in order to create income for their families so that when their wives look at them, they don't go, if something comes to this dude, we're screwed because, but because of the fact that the Holy Spirit got a hold of him and he got some education, he got some wisdom and knowledge, he has expanded and created multiple streams of income. Our family will be taken care of and so your wife can look at you and say, hey, he's got us covered in the name of Jesus. Tonight, I'm gonna do a video again showing the use of AI technology, chat GT specifically. With So again, I always pray for wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. And as I do that, it's very important to me that as Christians, that we are as men, that we understand and take chances, step outside of our box, see bigger things and stop walking in fear. I won't try that because it's a scam or I won't do that because it's a setup. And But to at least make an effort to go in that direction and go after something that might be even in failure, success, right? So we only fail if we don't ever try, okay? So that's another video I want to go on. I'll get off of that soapbox, but right now, again, I'm going to show you how we're going to use the power of an AI, which I got a powerful word. A guy was talking about ChatGPT. If you're not familiar with it, get familiar with it. There are others out there, but the ChatGPT is the one that I was led to. It makes sense for me. It works for me. And so he was saying, you can treat this as an employee. So I have the updated plan, so I pay 20 bucks a month. For 20 bucks a month, I have an employee that will help me with anything. I literally wanted to get more education on how to file the appropriate paperwork and be prepared to have a, if I have an S Corp. And this thing was able to help me get all the process through a checklist of all the things I need to do. Again, information I did not have. I prayed for wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, and I was able to get that. So I'm going to run you through this process, show you how Turo can be used with AI to be able to help you to analyze your business, make decisions as far as if you're still on the fence trying to figure out what should I do? Should I do this Turo thing? Should I try? I just need more information. I was fortunate I was able to speak to a gentleman that we did a Zoom call. He's, I reached out, I said on my, on my videos, I said, hey, if you need my help, I'll help you. And so he reached out, we did a Zoom call. I was able to help him. I saw his son and daughter in the background, a 16 year old son. And the heart touched my heart because of the opportunity for that young man to be able to learn entrepreneurship at such a young age is something you can pass on for generations, right? So again, if I can help you, I will help you. My goal again is to try to give us the opportunity to be able to have all the information and know what we're doing. So let's get to it. So this is the Churo website from the customer side, right? And so what I'm going to show you, there's an extension called Turex. Turex Explorer that I've got the updated plan. I'll show you why that's important to me again. Put your money to work, right? And so I'll show you why I did the updated plan. But basically what this thing does is, let me show you here. It's very powerful. And what it does, it'll literally give you data that will, you can choose, you choose the location and dates on the Turo main page. That's how you get it done. I'll show you how to do that in a second. But what are the columns available in the Turex table? So it gives you a table and I'll show you that in a second as well. So the Turex table contains various columns with information about car listings. These columns include city, type, such as SUV, car, etc. Make, model, year, created, created at the date when the listing was created. Days, how many days the car listing has been active. Trips, how many trips were made with this car. TD, the trip to day ratio, dollar day, average cost of the car, and star host, whether you're an all-star host or not. Additionally, that's, I got that updated one, that little 20 bucks a month thing says, additionally, after enriching the data, extra columns are available, including trim, color, busy 30, which is how many days the car was unavailable, booked during the last 30 days, gross 30, the estimated maximum gross income during the last 30 days, gross 365, plan, the protection plan selected by the owner for this vehicle. Again, gentlemen, if you're trying to figure out what plan to use, look at your marketplace. I look at, I'm in San Diego, so I look and say, what are they using? It's 60, 75, 80, 85. I did some adjustments recently. Where initially, when I first started off, I'm trying to make as much money as possible. But good business says you can't take those kind of risks. So even if I had the cash in the bank, which I'd rather use it for other things than paying a deductible off, I've decided for the cars that are very important to me, I put them on a 60 plan, I'll give to her their 40%. And for the cars that are, they stay on, we have to make money on those, I put those on 80% plan, right? Which is a 750 deductible. And so, but you can do this, use this extension 
and be able to see in your marketplace what are the other what's the competition doing right now what are the other people in the marketplace doing also there's this one that says faves the number of times the listing was added to favorites reviews the number of reviews and url the link to this to this listing and so i'm going to show you why it's important the favorites things i'm show you what i've done to be able to utilize this technology and then put it into the ai technology and then be able to help us as hosts or aspiring tour hosts to be successful right if you're a data guy, you're an analyzing guy, you know, your wife wants to make sure before you do this thing that you think about it, just do this exercise with her, pay the $20, go in there and look at your marketplace. Say, hey, you know what? I had a person call me up. They want to figure out what was going on in a certain city in Georgia. I didn't get a chance to get back to them, but this is one of the things that, that put that question be put in my heart. Allow me, I'm hoping they're going to see this video and they can literally just go in here, do this, and I'm going to, this exercise I'm about to do, and they're going to be able to see exactly what they can do to figure out do some research in their neighborhood in their area see what's there and then see what what should they do what kind of car should they use should they just use their car and just start off or they have the right vehicle and so forth so stay with me through the end this is powerful all right and it's all here free it's free in a sense all right it's free for you access to it so nobody's hiding it you don't have to know anybody and so here it is. here we go the way that this tourx explorer works i've done 827 2023 you go in there you're on the customer side you put in some search dates i've done 827 2023 to 9 4 2023 right and so it's just kicking in about 2000 vehicles i'm going to narrow that down and try to get that tweaked but it doesn't really matter i just want to give you an example of what and how we do this right and i click on my tour explorer tourx explorer here and i go in and i hit start recording okay and then I X out of here, and then I go back and I look at this. Oh my God! Look at this beautiful. Look at all these cars. I have no location picked. This is the whole country, and then I'm just going to click on search this area. All right, and then I go back. Yep. Okay, it's going to tell me it's going to pick you new vehicles. Great, whatever. And so then I go back to my Torx Explorer over here, and it's starting to push a bunch to put all the information in. Right, so it's putting all the information in on the searches. It's over 200 cars, so we're not going to go through that whole process. But I want you to see it's working. So it's added in all the cars that are in this map that we're being clicked right and then i'm going to go i've got the enriched i got the updated plan so i'm going to hit this enrich vehicle data that's when they give you the ins that's where they give you like what what protection plan are they using and you know how many how much money this thing make in 30 days and how much has it made in the lifetime and how many, which how many reviews did they get before people booked it these this is powerful information is right here 20 bucks a month right and so as you go through it's adding it in so it'll go and do this and add all of it into the whole 200 that are on the list so we don't have to stay for that because I've already done I've already done a data set already and so what happens is after you do all that after it fills in the stuff for me I then export the CSV so for y'all I'm figuring it all out the whole spirit is guiding me but your genius is out there y'all know this is nothing to you all right so you export the CSV to your to your computer and then I'm going to show you what we're going to do with it next right so we went through so look it's filling in all the information in so you can see it's telling me it's telling me you had created at such days that the thing has been on on the platform trips all that stuff we just talked about average day has busy 11 days out of 30 days it's busy and then it goes on and on right and so i downloaded the i exported the csv after it filled out on the last data search but things the exact same data search but anyway wait till it fills it all out i export it out and then i went over here to again i'm not the guy but i'll try my best to try to explain i'm trying to put everything description as far as chat gpt and all that stuff but it's chat.openai.com most of you probably know so this is the thing so i'm figuring it out too right but i know i've been i've got the updated plan on this sucker as well so i need y'all to see what's going on this is not just oh let me open up chat gpt and throw it in i've been like watching my youtube channels i'm watching these guys and they give me all kinds of free information my hope is that i'm going to be good enough to be able to figure out and put the ax give you access to where i got this information from because I, I should be able to do it right i'm gonna take my time put in the links in there so you can find out where these geniuses are that are creating these prompts right but anyway chat gbt has this thing where this is me down here's my business and so then it has custom instructions right and so you can literally go in there i'm hoping that down the road they're going to create multiple profiles because i'm like stuck with this one but you can create custom instructions where you tell it who you are so it knows who you are so i'm a Christian male serial entrepreneur based in San Diego, California, who loves analyzed data, loves real estate, and is power host on the tour car platform. I own a S corporation, what name first, first kind of I did all that so that when I go and ask all these questions, like when I asked it about, you know, whether I need to fill out for an S corporation, it was able to use the profile and say, oh, this is who you are. That's why you want that information, right? Then this genius thing here, this guy gave this thing away for free. I'm going to try my best. I've got it in my history. I'm going to try my best to add the video in so you can get, see 
who this guy is and how powerful it is that what he's done. But he, gave, he created this prompt that allows you to be able to this thing. It says it acts as a professor synapse, a conductor of expert agents. Your job is to support the user. This telling ChatGPT has given him a role and it's given him a profile, right? So this whole thing is in there. I'm gonna put it in there. He gave this whole thing. I popped it in there for ChatGPT and then I used it. And then they, ChatGPT used that as a reference when I go to try to get it to do something, right? And so let me see if I can get out of here and get back to where we're at, right? And this is the one I practiced on, right? So I dropped in and I'll show you how I did it. So I'm gonna do a new chat, but you hit this plus button. Let me show you in a second. I did, and I dropped in that CSV that I just exported, right? And then, so there's the CSV right there. And I said, analyze and list out with explanation every column in this data set, right? And so it says, oh, excellent, okay? And then it goes and it does the whole thing. Vic tells me all the columns, all right? And then I go and it says, should I proceed? And I go, yes. So, says, so it says, oh, as excellent. We have a data set related to cars available on the Toro platform. It appears to have 27 columns to align with your goals and preferences. Let's proceed with a detailed analysis of each column. Would you like to go ahead and with that? I'm like, yes. And so it goes ahead and do all this. And so it goes all the columns out. So you're able to see, it sees and you see all the different columns that data set had that you got off of that Torex, right? And then I go over this thing, a long thing. And I'm like, I'd like you to help to analyze this data using columns. But I went through there and I picked the columns that I thought I wanted to make sure that was used in the analyzation so that I could figure out what to get the information I wanted. What I want to find out, I want to find out what cars, I want the top 10 cars in my marketplace that are making over a thousand dollars with my goal I'll tell you all my secret a million is a thousand thousands right and so if you want to make a million dollars a month you put a thousand cars out there that are making a thousand dollars a month right so my goal is to do that i've set everything up i've got my dealer's license i'm ready to go so now i'm just looking for a way to buy a thousand cars 110 marketplaces and be able to go after it and get my million dollars a month i'm crazy it's all right think big if you don't have big goals what's the point you might as well just go to sleep and so I'm thinking big, but it's, it's a math, right? A billion is a thousand million. So you, when you buy, I asked a, at a buddy of mine that was a, 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 a partner in Deloitte, one of the largest accounting firms in the country. And I said, man, how do, what a, how do billionaires do it? How do they get a billion dollars? And he said that they buy highly appreciating assets, which means that if you're trying to get to a billion, you want to buy some assets that are appreciating. Buy, let's say, if you do simple math. You want to buy a thousand assets that have the ability to appreciate to a million dollars each. Then you're a billionaire, right? And of course, as geniuses, we're going to try to narrow it down. Maybe we can get a hundred assets that get ten million dollars, right? If I did that math correctly. But all right, so what I want to do is I want to ask this. Th I'm asking ChatGPT to go through all this data and find out for me the top ten cars that will achieve a thousand dollars a month in earnings. Because again, I'm going to look for. I'm going to be able to get these cars. If I know what cars to buy, then I'm going to buy these cars and I know these cars are going to make about $1,000 a month. I have experience as far as these cars and putting my cars in there, going through, because I started, right? Just start, man. Get some information. And you may fail, but fail forward. And so I started. I went in there. I got cars in there. And I've got two Hondas. I've got three Nissans. I've got two Toyotas. I've got a Mercedes and a Tesla. And from that data set, me working it in there day, every day, I'm learn I understand and see the potential. I've done videos that you see in here that show the potential of these cars. A Honda is not, I'm making $1,100 a month, right? And so what I'm like, hey, this is all data. I have all the data, get this AI, and I just like, you feel better. Man, I'm putting this thing to work. This is some hard work. This thing is a, it's a machine. So I'm like, thank you. I'm like, man, I'm like, man, should I just not keep pushing it and let it just be done? <laughs> I'm like, it's a machine. I've been reminded, it's a machine. It lives to work hard and work and work and work. You don't gotta worry about it. I'm stressing it out. All right, so I come up with this sloppy thing here because I'm working on learning how to do prompts, but I'm also learning on being wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Instead of praying for all this little detailed stuff, I want this much money and one of blah, Just like Solomon did, he prayed for wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. You pray for wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, the Holy Spirit will guide you and direct you and tell you how to get this done, get that. For those of you who are not Christians, you have access to someone, a person, of the Holy Spirit that knows everything, all the information you need. You have a, uh, he knows what's going to come and everything. So, you know what? It's going to be all right. Jesus Christ is the way, right? But I've got, to, so I go through there and I'm like working as I go. And I'm like, man, I just did this thing a little while ago and I have no idea what I want. I want to know what cars in, I'll use the data set to find out what cars can generate over $1,000 a month. So I know which cars I can go buy at the auction and be able to put these things to work so I can get to my million dollar goal. Hey, me, madam, if you want, it's a math problem for me. And what's the problem? What's hurt? What do we hurt trying? Let's try. Maybe you're a $10,000 guy. 10 cars, maybe a $100,000 guy, right? 
I don't put my God in the box. I mean, it's crazy. Everybody's going to think I'm crazy. But then this becomes God territory, right? So God, yeah, you got to get it done. All right. And so if that's what his will is, right? And so in there, so I've got that big old thing in there. I'm going to draw a big old role for ChatGPT to play. And so it's going in there. It goes, initializing Synapse GOR. I am the expert in data-driven business decision. So it chose an agent. So it's going to, because of the question I asked, it picked an agent that would be able to handle my question, right? And so it says, I'm an expert in data-driven business decision-making. I know how to analyze data sets to derive actionable insights for business growth. I will reason step-by-step -step to determine the best course of action to identify the top four makes and models of cars that have the greatest potential to make $1,000 or more in monthly earnings in the San Diego Carnival Marketplace. I can use Python for data manipulation and visualization. And so initially when I first started, again, I'm working this out, right? I'm like, oh, four cars, right? So let me see the top four. And so it goes through the process. I'm doing all my, I'm trying, I'm sitting there trying to pull out of me what it is. I'm trying to get this thing to do and I'm trying my best. It's asked me questions. We'd like to proceed with visualizing how these makes and models perform based on customer favorites. Yeah, so it came up with the top four makes and models for potential monthly earnings are the Rivian R1S, the Jeep Wrangler Unlimited, the Toyota Highlander, the Subaru Accent. And I'm like, hey, that's great. I'm, again, I'm working this process out. I'm being just transparent with you, all right? I'm working this process. I just literally did this a few, an hour ago and I'm like, I've got the right idea. I've got the right intu in, in, intuition, but I'm not buying. I don't have. No, I'm not buying any Rivians and Jeep Wranglers and that's serious money. I'm not. That's not me, right? I'm looking for economy cars, right? You yeah, think I'm, it's, it's okay? I just want you to know that this is how we do it, right? And so I'm like, okay, let me go through that, and it's and then it's going to tell me, and then so then I must have asked another question. So it says, would you like to proceed with visualizing how these makes and models perform based on customer favorites? And reviews and I'm like yes because I wanted to know because what they do is people go in there and they'll see a car and they'll hard it like when we do real estate and stuff they're hard it and so I'm thinking if you're harding a car that means that car appealed to you the pictures look good but maybe the price was wrong maybe you want to get back to it later when you're not coming for a while I'm like that's a those are cars I want to know about because I'm like that would help me the decision bar what kind of these are cars that getting people's attention those are cars I want to buy and so that's why I threw that in there so I'm, I'm in there I get an idea what I want I like, can you create a top 10 the acquisition cost of these cars are too high i would like economy cars for example a nissan Altima, right i'm like hey this thing is just you just tell it what's going on it's like i'm trying to be honest with you okay i'm like i'm not buying a rivian but i can definitely buy we can do some economy cars right and because that's what i have on my platform that's the numbers i like and i understand those i'm okay with that and so it says okay great we can do that it says so it says the top five economy makes and models for potential monthly earnings, they got the Honda Odyssey, the Nissan Sentra, the Nissan. Now, this is more my ballpark, right? I, I understand these Nissans. I'll buy Nissans all day, even though they have that transmission problem, but I got a transmission guy. So I'm like, I'll see if I can find, buy me Nissans and just go for it. Nissan Sentra's, Nissan Autumn, put them to work. I don't care what the car is. I'm not, dude, I'm not trying to impress anybody. I'm trying to make this cash, right? I can impress my wife by this cash flow coming in and she can do whatever she wants to do because she's bougie and we can all take care of our business, right? And so I don't need a G-Wagon, I don't need a Rivian. I just need a thousand dollar a month car coming in with low acquisition costs that makes sense for me in my lifestyle where I'm at, right? I'm not trying to impress anybody. Take that out of your way. If you're a big baller, I'm proud of you. That's a beautiful thing. I, I appreciate you and you can definitely come hang out with me. I like hanging out with people that take care of business and we can definitely go after this together. All right, and so customized favorites. Okay, so then it's going through there. And it's like summary for economy cars based on potential monthly earnings, customer favorites, and reviews. The top five economy makes some models you should consider adding to your fleet in the San Diego, California marketplace are on the Odyssey, Nissan Sentra, Nissan Altima, Chevrolet Camaro, Chevrolet Camaro, Mercedes Benz GLA class, right? And so I'm like, man, this is so cool. I'm like in awe, right? And I said, I got to the point, I'm like, man, I get, I'm getting out of me what it is I want this thing to do because I just got this intuition that you can literally use this thing to do that. And I've been working on it for days. I was like, I want to do an AI Turo combination video. I'm going to use a thumbnail that I made with uh, Mid Journey AI. So hopefully you'll see all that together. And so then I'm like thinking, man, I'm all over the place with this thing, but I get, I have a, the crux of what I'm trying to do. And so I asked ChatGPT, I said, can you analyze all the prompts I use to get this desired result and combine into specific and direct prompt I can use to get you here in one step. My effort was wordy and repetitive, right? Talking this thing like it's human being, but it says certainly optimizing the interact interaction for efficiency is a great idea, especially for future queries. Here's a more streamline streamlined prompt you can use next time. So it gives me a prompt. I copy and paste it into the Word document, and then I save it as a chat GPT prompt. I put it into a folder, and so then I can go get that prompt out of there. I cut and paste that cut and copy that prompt every time I need and then go in. So that's what I did. So now I'm doing a new chat 
to show you what I'm doing. If it's too long, it's too long, but I want you to understand, I love y'all. I know that you can do this. If you got that wife that wants you to go do this thing, but you're like, man, I need some data. I don't want to take that kind of risk. I'm showing you a way to go minimize your risk, at least to understand your marketplace, right? And just make an effort, make an effort in that regard, right? So again, I've got the updated plan. So this code interpreter's life sense is the most powerful thing I've seen. So it literally is, when you do that, you can literally add in all kinds. You can add in five databases. You can add, you know, you can add in PDFs. You can add, you can just download all kinds of stuff in there and get this thing to churn it. And, and you, if you ask the right question, get the information you need, right? And so I'm doing this new one. And so what I did was I had, so it, so if I go, so if I go back to here, I figured out near the end there that I wanted to also um, see if there was any kind of commonality between the colors of the cars. Imagine if only even people were attracted to white cars or green cars or green cars. So I, was like, I thought about that after the fact. So after I went through that, I went in there and I said, I went in there and I said, let me, let me see if I can ask it to fix that for me. So it seems, so it asked, I said, great. I said, also, please rewrite the prompt you made for me to include tracking commonality by color in successful top 10 vehicles. And so it says, great, the analysis is complete among the 10 economy vehicles that have the greatest potential to earn $1,000 or more per month in San Diego. Here are the common colors. White, three vehicles, silver, one vehicle, right? Come on, gentlemen, you have no excuse. Pick your area, pick your city, copy the prompt. I'm giving it in here, it's in here, you just copy it. I'll try my best to put it in the description so you can just cut and paste and put it, I'll try I'm like. I'm working this out, right? But I want you to have it. And again, but you guys, you guys are genius. I'm working this out. I'm learning as I go here. You, the people out here, y'all got this down. You probably, you probably write a much better one, more detailed. I mean, which I want you. You take what I do and scale it. Come on, get bigger, do better. I was just listening to Myron Golden today. He talked about what his daughter said to him. Like when you listen to what somebody's saying, if they're giving you education, you write down the thoughts that you have based on what they're saying, not what they're saying. And say, I mean, you want to expand it. I go, so they're saying, you're talking about this. I'm trying to show you this scenario, this mindset that I'm having. Then it's going to pop and you said, oh, this makes sense for me. And let me add to that. And that's what you want to do. So please, I ask that you would take what I am presenting to you in an effort to bless you and then expand on that for you and your family and your household, your community, whatever it is, and then and make it work for you. And so it created one that had that in there. So that's the one that I finally cut and I copy this. I took it to the Word document, opened up the Word document, created a new Word document, popped it in there, saved it in there, saved it, put it into the folder for ChatGPT prompts, and then went from there, right? So now, I'm going to open up the new chat. I'm going to make sure I'm in code interpreter here, and this little plus sign, all right, it's going to allow me to be able to hit the plus sign, upload, and so I have downloaded this bad boy today, so it's this one right here, boom. I'm going to hit open. All right, it's just going to add it in there. And then I'd already copied, hit copy on this, on that prompt that I told you I saved at the last one I just showed you that they made for me. So I'm pasting that in there. And so we're going to see that. Please analyze the uploaded Turo database to identify the top 10 economy cars under $30,000 in San Diego with the potential to earn $1,000 or more per month. Focus on customer favorites and reviews and also Analyze the commonality in vehicle color among the top performers. Provide visualizations and insights. Come on! Come on, man! Look at that! Come on, I'm nobody. I just worked through the process. I started, I went after, I did something, right? And then all the help is going to come along. So hitting the hidden little thing there. Hit enter, watch this thing, right? And so this bad boy is going to do what it does, right? It's greetings. I am Professor Synapse, the conductor of Export Agents. My job is to support you in accomplishing your goals. To get started, let's, other, let's gather some context and clarify your objectives. You've uploaded a tour door data set and you've been interested in analyzing it to identify the top 10 economy cars under 30,000 in San Diego with the potential to earn $1,000 or more per month. You want to focus on customer favorites and reviews and you're also interested in the commonality and vehicle color among top. Come on! Is there anything specific you'd like to know within these categories? Would you like insight to be presented as a downloaded position, given your interest in analyzing data sets and sharing them with potential investors? So it says that because in my profile, that's what I put in there that I like to do. Like I like to create data sets and I like to create presentations so that I can share with people because I'm trying to raise this money, right? And I said, uh, no. So I'm just going to say no, proceed for a matter of time so that this thing can just go for it. All right, excellent. Proceed with this analysis. Let me initialize an expert agent for this task. Again, this guy, when the when she interviewed him, 
He was like, she couldn't believe that he was giving this thing away. And then, I don't know, obviously he was doing it for genius people. I just, I'm just a guy with a chore up front. So I'm like, I can, I can use that. So I pop that sucker in there and look at, now I get it. So it creates an agent based on what you need, right? So it'll say, which is probably freaking a lot, you think in the matrix, but we're living in the matrix because you'd be freaked out. But anyway, so they, so it creates an agent that specific, has a specific skill set. So this guy is like the big deal, like he's the bigger one. And then like he dispatches agents based on what my need is, right? So now he keeps asking me questions. It appears that the output got truncated, however, I was able to see more relevant columns in the data set such as city blah blah. blah. Our next step is to filter the data set to focus on economy cards and blah blah. Shall we proceed? Yes, proceed, right? I don't go to sleep. This is beautiful stuff. You should be y'all should be like literally if you're like me or anything like me, I'm like excited. Like this is I'm like, is this really freaking happening? For my Toro fleet, I'm able to go in there and do better and do and do use information, new data to be able to create intelligent decisions, right? I was talking to a buddy of mine today talking about how we need to just build it, work hard, and have a game plan and a business plan, and then the money will come. And so I'm literally becoming, I'm learning how to do stuff with cars. I'm learning, I've literally been to, become to the point where, where I'm literally good at this. Money falls master. I stole that again from Mr. Myron Golden. He also does a thing called Make More Offers. It's like a, a webinar he does like every month. It's beautiful. It changed my life because literally what it says is that look at your life. And if you're up against it, what is the offer you're going to make? What offers are things that you can put skill sets you can use or, or uh, opportunities to be able to create money so you can feed your family, right? If all you got is that job, you got, that's not, that's a problem. But if you have multiple offers, let's say you got to give you a book idea and you wrote the book and you got the book out there, you got an e-book out there, or you got some technology, you got some invention, whatever it is, you have things like you, you have offers, right? And so then you just you figure out what kind of offers you have to scale the offers. It's beautiful. It's 97 bucks for the, like, if you just go on the regular guy. I think he said it was 297 if you want to do anything, but I got an affiliate link on the bottom there. But again, it's a shame my life. This goose giving this stuff away for free. And I'm like, and literally allowed me to be able to work on building this business and be able to raise money simply because he said, you have to, what are your offers? What is your life? What kind of offers do you have in your life? What are your skill set? What are you good at? And then take what you're good at, what you've been made to do, and then create offers from that so that you can add value to somebody's life and then that person will trade you money for that value. But again, I think the link is definitely going to be in there and he does it every month. It's life changing. You want to go hang out with this guy. It's just Myron Golden. He doesn't know me from anybody, but I watch almost every one of his videos and every single time I get to do that thing where I go and take what he says and then God expounds it to bigger things. And so he's a blessing to me. So I know he'll be a blessing to you. All right, it's great. We have success. We filtered and sorted the data set to identify the 10 economy cars in San Diego based on customer favorites and reviews. It's also cars have potential in $1,000 or more per month. Our next step is to analyze the community, the commonality and vehicle color among these top performers and to create visualizations that encapsulate all these findings. Would you like to proceed with that? It continues to drive me crazy, but it continues to ask me questions. But it's trying to make sure we're engaged, right? And so I'm okay with that. So every time that, just do it. Stop asking me questions. But the role that I put in there requires it to ask me questions. So it's going to ask me questions. So that's one of the things you have to know. I'm like, but I'm okay with that. It's forcing me to think. It's forcing me to formulate into words what it is that I have all wrapped up in my brain, right? And so that's difficult at times. It's hard. But once you get it done, and then you can get some help. You can get, if you can get most of it out, so they got a just machine, this thing gets a general idea, it'll finish it off for you. So I literally had an idea of, I've got all this data, I'm like, I'm looking at this data set, I'm like, man, this data set can give me a bunch of information. Let me see if I can get that done, right? All right, seems like we ran into an issue. I'll enter it in the second bar graph. This could be due to missing or inconsistent. Let's resolve the issue and try. See, it's asked me, should it proceed? Yes, resolve it. Yes, please, go ahead. Let's knock it out. And so, gentlemen, I'm showing you this because you literally can do this yourself. Shorten the data set, just maybe do your area, your town, and then tweak it. Look at the competition, look at what kind of cars are working, look for that. But again, that's the guy that made a step of faith and went after it. So stop watching them and be with them. Get in there, man. Get your first car. You're not going to become an all-star host, get your car shown if you stand on the sidelines, right? Get your car out there, get those reviews, get those trips in there. Learn. You may get cracked, but you learn from getting cracked, right? And uh, I should, there should be videos floating around on how to set up your car. If you need me, just send me something in the comments and I'll help you set up the car. I'm gonna, I'll do a video. I've seen several people do it. I don't know. Something was confusing to me, but I think I've got a video where I talk about how to set the car up so you don't get cracked or at least you protect yourself. It seems that, but if you love your car, if you're in love with this car, but you want to test this process, I put that thing on a 60 plan so that you don't stress out. They people don't care. Nothing about these cars. They will scratch them. They'll get them dinged in the parking lots. They don't care. So if you need, if you're that guy, 
put it on the 60 plan, no deductible, they scratch it, you get your money back and go from there. You do a tour of claims, but at least you have a fighting chance to make sure you take all your pictures, take a picture of everything. I don't care if you take 100 pictures, take your pictures. Okay, and then uh, you're giving them 40%, but that's fine. You get peace of mind. I give them 60, I give them 40% on my wife's Mercedes, and I give them 40% on my my Tesla because I had a I have a bad little situation just now that happened, but I was like, heck, never again. All right, it seems there should be more complex reason for the issue. Would you like to proceed with troubleshooting? Yeah, I don't know why. I just need you to do what you said you did. But let's see. That. So I'm going to probably get rid of this thing with it. But I'm doing it live with you, and so I don't know what, what it's running into. Would you like to proceed? Yes, proceed. I'll go ahead and recreate the visualization without the annotation to see if that resolves the issue. Come on, you go for it. You do your thing. I just need to know what cars there are. I don't know why you're taking so long, but that's fine. Bop, bop, it's working. Show work. And finish working. Oh, look at the pretty. Oh, yes. Okay, and there we go. Common out of vehicle, top economy cars. The bar graph shows the top 10 economy cars in San Diego based on customer favorites, different models from the same. What are you asking me again? Would you like to download these visualizations inside for your awareness? Okay, how about you show me what the cars are? Where are my 10 cars at? Sure, yes, absolutely. Yes, I would show my cars. So, list the cars. Then the visualizations are successfully created. Commonality color, the most common vehicle color among the top performers is black, followed by white and gray. The car graph shows the 10 economy cars in San Diego based on current some of favorites, different models on the same make are distinguished by colors. Would you like to? Yes, I'd like to download. Okay, great. All right, download. Okay, please list. Please list. List the 10 cars. Top 10. 10 here for me. It wants me to read that chart. I don't know again, you see that thing right now, but, but the chart has all the cars. Okay, so there we go. Boom, boom. GMC Yukon, Nissan Altima, look at this beautiful thing. Bro. And I'm nobody, I'm fighting for my life here, right? And I truly believe that anything, wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, just pray for it, you get it, and you can do big things. I really, come on. If I can do it, you can do it. We got the same Holy Spirit, same God. All right, so we got number one, GMC Yukon. No, I'm not buying a GMC Yukon, it's not going to work out. But then it's got the Nissan Altima, Nissan Altima, Volkswagen Jetta, Volkswagen Tuan, Hyundai Tucson. Porsche, Macau, Kia, and then Nissan Rogue, Hyundai, Odyssey. And at least you get an idea of what, what's possible, right? You get an idea of how to analyze your marketplace, right? And so I'm going to look at that and be like, yeah, these are 2022. I'm like, I don't mean, I'm not getting 2022, but I believe that people don't care if it's 2022 or 2018. It should be able to make the money for you, right? And it's going to be nice. So I could tweak this. I'm not going to do this on video, but you can keep playing with this and see. But I want you to at least see what's possible. And it's got visuals. You can make presentation. I can tell this thing that turned into a PowerPoint presentation so I can send out to my investors and say, hey, this is what I'm trying to do. These are the cars in my marketplace that are doing well. They're making over thousand dollars. I'm just gonna buy these cars, blah, 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 and go from there. So hopefully this helped. Hopefully this helped you. And again, it's Turex Explorer. It's an extension. You can just add it in. And if you want to upgrade it, it'll do $10. I think it's 20 bucks. And then the chat GPT, which is at chat.openai.com. You go in there and then you upgrade that as well so you can get access to the plugins and this code interpreter. And then that should be most part, it should be it. So I'm hoping that this helps you again. Any questions, any comments, just, just put in the link. And also, gentlemen, I would love it for so much. I was so excited. I literally was doing this just as an act of love. And I literally jumped from, I think, 150 subscribers up to 325. And like my view hours have gone up to a thousand, man. So I'm like thinking, man, imagine if I can literally get monetized on this channel. It wasn't my goal. My goal is just to help my brothers to be able to get to understand what we got to do to fight and be in spiritual authority and take care of our family, our community, our church, and our workplace. And so if you, if I add value, I'd love it if you would just like so that I think when you like, it sends it, it says, oh, the algorithm says, oh my God, they, they like this video. And it sends it, I like it almost. 4,500 views on the one that I showed where I hit that 10,000, which was I, was my proof of concept. And again, I would love it if you would subscribe. I would love it if you would comment. I would love it if you would like so that this can go out there. That would be an awesome thing for me to be able to, to see and be able to get to the 4,000 watch hours and 1,000 subscribers. That would be like a blessing to me that I couldn't even explain, right? So if you can help me with that, I really appreciate it. Hopefully I helped you. The key of my, key of my life is add value to your life, and so I hope I did that. Until next time.